What's going on guys? Fun with Knives back again and I got a pretty cool unboxing video for you today. Now the knife that you're looking at or the box containing the knife rather was purchased for me by Miss FWK for which I'm very grateful. But the reason she bought me this knife is because I want to bet and it's a pretty funny story so I thought I'd share that with you before I actually got into the overview and the unboxing itself. Um, her and I were at a breakfast joint a couple of weeks ago on a Sunday morning and that breakfast place happened to have amazing scones. I've had them before but she had not. So we ordered breakfast. She was saving her scone for last and of course I strategically waited for her to eat half of her breakfast before I proposed my bet. Now she has a sweet tooth. Keep that in mind. She eats lots of sweets but she's a very small person. She's I mean I'm 6'4 and she's like 5'4. Um, so I knew there's no way in hell she could eat that whole scone because they're like this big. I mean, they fill up an entire dinner plate. I mean, they're fairly thin, but it's a lot of scone there. And I knew that she couldn't eat it. But of course, her sweet tooth, she said, of course I can eat that whole thing. So I said, why don't you bet me? And I, by the way, I do not feel bad about this at all. Um, I bet her that if she did, in fact, eat that entire scone in one sitting, that we would immediately after go to Victoria's Secret and she could pick out $30 of whatever she wanted. Which if you guys have ladies that like to shop there, you know that's not very much. Um, but I said, if you don't finish that entire scone, I get a $30 knife. So she was all for it. And of course, with how small she was, she ate about a quarter of it and that was it. So I got a free knife. And I did kind of swindle my way into it. But again, I don't feel bad. I mean, <laughs> it was a good time and it's been a while since I got a new knife. So um, she was all for it too. Now, instead of going a, a fairly normal route and getting a, you know, a new folding CRKT knife that costs $30, I wanted to go different. Now, judging by the title, you guys know that my very first butterfly knife is in this box. And let's get into the unboxing itself. This is the Bear and Son Cutlery, where's the model number here, 114BL 5-inch Blue Butterfly Knife. Now, let me start this by saying I've always wanted a butterfly knife or balisong. I think they're very cool, but as you guys know, I'm kind of a dumbass sometimes with my knives and tend to cut myself. And butterfly knives are not for those who are clumsy with their knives occasionally. So I decided on a trainer. She asked what knife I wanted. I scoured Blade HQ for a long time and decided on this one. It seemed like a fairly good budget option to start and see if I actually liked this kind of hobby. So here's the box here. This is made in the USA, which is pretty cool. This is coming in at like the $32 or $30 price point, which is awesome. Bear and Son Cutlery, everyone respects the bear. All right. We build them tough, we build them right, we build them here. Cool. American flag on the box. I'm all for that. All right. So let's open this up. I'm going to pretend like I haven't looked at this and have not been flipping it around for the past couple of hours since I was allowed to open it. If you guys don't, by the way, follow Miss FWK on Instagram. You definitely should. She is hilarious and she's not entirely into knives like I am, but she loves making fun of the fact that I am. No, I'm just kidding. She's great. If you guys want to go follow her, I believe her name is just Miss FWK. There might be an underscore in there somewhere, but maybe I'll throw a link in the description box below. But she actually posted this a couple hours ago at the box that it came in. So here is this wonderfully blue colored butterfly knife. And other than the knife, you get a card here thanking you for your recent purchase and showing you where to go for the warranty and to register your product, which I probably won't do. Now, guys, I am way out of my element here looking at this knife. This is way different than anything I've had experience with in the knife world. This is way different than a folding knife, than a fixed blade. In fact, I don't know what half of these features on this knife are called. I know what the purpose of this is to lock the knife closed and lock it in the open position, I know what it does, but I don't know what it's called. And a lot of you ballast long or butterfly guy knives are probably gonna be commenting already telling me what each part of the knife is, but I'll learn it. I'm about two hours into the hobby, so I figured I have time to learn the technique as well as the different features and the nomenclature that goes along with the butterfly knife business. So all I'm gonna do is kind of go over my initial impressions of quality here, and then obviously give you guys the specs and tell you what I plan on doing with this knife actually. So the blade length on this guy is 4.125 inches. Your cutting edge is only 3.375. So that's fairly long for a folding blade, but for a balisong, I don't feel like it's that large. I mean, this seems kind of normal size, judging from some of the balisongs I've looked at previously. 
Handle length here is right at five inches, making your overall length 9.125. So again, fairly large for a folding knife, um, but doesn't feel unwieldy, especially when you're flipping it around, at least from the flipping I've done so far. Now, the weight on this guy is 5.19 ounces. Now that doesn't seem entirely heavy because this is all metal construction. These are zinc handles, which I've never had experience with that material in a knife before, and 440 blade steel. I'm assuming because there is no C after that 440 that this is um, similar to 440A, which is not a very good steel, but I don't really care. Um, this is not gonna be doing a whole lot of cutting. In fact, you guys might be wondering already, why in the world I have a sharpened butterfly knife for my very first one? Well, I asked her for the trainer. When I told her that I wanted a butterfly knife, she was like, um, no way. She knows how clumsy I can be with my knives. So she said no, <laughs> that she wasn't gonna buy it for me. And I said, I want the trainer, I want the, the unsharpened blade one. And of course she got that <laughs> mixed up or something. She just misordered this one. And of course I could send this back to Blade HQ, no problem, and get the trainer sent to me. Uh, but I don't wanna go through that. So do not worry guys, I will um, dull this blade myself. I'm just gonna take a Dremel to it, flatten out that edge, maybe take a little bit off the tip so it's not quite as pointy, you know, so I don't get stuck in the thumb or something when I'm flipping this thing around. So it will not be sharp, but the edge actually is pretty decent from the factory. The edge bevel is not perfect, but it's pretty sharp. It's got a kind of a mid hollow grind on it, starting from, I could even tell you the blade thickness here. I'm guessing around an eighth of an inch. That'll focus for you, maybe. That's a little bit better. But as you can see, it's a fairly skinny to fit inside the handle, of course, clip point blade. Fairly attractive, actually. And again, I'm impressed at the level of fit and finish. I mean, the satin uh, finish on the blade is fairly uniform across it. Um, bare MGCs written here, a couple of asterisks USA, and then the other side is sterile. As far as fit and finish on the blade goes, I mean, I've had worse at the $30 price point and I expected a little bit less from a balisong because there seems to be more moving parts, more going on. Now, like I said previously, let's see if I can do something here. Hold it from this side, right? It's a little bit safer. Let's see if I can open it. Ah, I did something. Um, these are made out of zinc. They do have a blue epoxy coating, I believe. They are lightweight, skeletonized, kind of cool. It's got kind of a weird texture on it. It's almost like a an orange peel texture. Kind of reminds me of like a basketball or I don't know, something like that. But the coating doesn't seem super high quality, but again, I don't think this is gonna see a whole lot of hard use. It's mainly gonna be me throwing it around once I have it dull and just kind of messing around. My view on butterfly knives as far as functional tools is, I don't know, these are more like fidget toys to me than anything. I mean, the media portrays butterfly knives or gravity knives as dangerous weapons, you know, that can be opened with the force of gravity. But to me, they're just kind of fun to mess around with that I've learned in the past couple hours. So, I mean, for the bad guys in the movies to have butterfly knives doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. This is closer to a fidget spinner to a, than a knife, to me at least. Now again, I don't know any of the nomenclature of the parts here, but here's a close-up of your dual pivots. They are pinned together. This is not a user serviceable knife at all. Even this thing down here, locks the blade, closed or open, is pinned. So hopefully this knife does not need to be serviced whatsoever because I can't take it apart. Here's your little dual stop pin thing here in the middle. And yes, this blade does feel fairly smooth. I mean, it's not ceramic ball bearing smooth, but as far as I mean, what I was expecting, it surpassed my expectations, which is pretty cool. So all in all, I'm excited for this, guys. I mean, you guys might not be knowing how much I possibly might hurt myself, but no, I, re I really will dull that blade. That, wow, dull that blade. That's the word I chose. Dull that edge before I actually get into some use and looking up some tutorials on how to flip this thing around and do some cool things with it. But I am so glad I own one. I think it's been far too long. Um... I should have had these had one of these a long time ago. I've been I mean collecting knives for a couple of years now and I'm just now getting my first ballast on, which is cool. There's a whole lot of historical significance behind these knives and I think it's going to bring me a whole lot of enjoyment. So, hopefully if you guys were looking at the Baron Sun 114 BL, this at least showed you some of the features. Maybe a quick close up of that blade, the handle itself. Since we're almost at 10 minutes for a simple unboxing. I guess we did include a cool story in there as well. But I forgot to mention, this is half an inch wide. So fairly standard in that dimension. So thanks for watching, guys, as always. And remember, have fun with your knives.